we started the revenge tour literally in the heart of Parma. So close you could hit one of the main attractions with a stone. So I invited you to stand next to me and see the life of a luxury travel advisor on the road. A non descriptive truth. So let's begin. Andrea, how are you? Grazie mille for having Finally here. Finally here. We've been talking for quite a while. Yes. How was everything? Everything is going well, actually. The arrival here. It was very, very smooth. After catching up, I live with my friend Andrea and we start walking down some side streets. We are hungry. He takes me to La Filoma, one of Andrea's favorites an authentic Parmes restaurant where Chef Sandro receives its guests with a big smile and funny chef hats. And nowadays when people are looking for uh, destinations that really can offer them an immersive experience, this is a hidden treasure, it's like a gold mine. Uh, when you will see the making of Parmigiano, you will, uh, you will cry yeah. because uh, yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, it's always an emotion uh, because I, I don't think there is something uh, similar uh, in the world uh, and uh, every day is made uh, in the same uh, old way like uh, they used to do centuries ago so uh, and it's a uh, completely natural as andrea described how traditions were kept intact from centuries i could sense his passion for his roots as sandro kept on pouring wine oh my god <laughs> <laughs> oh that's amazing it's different. It's different, but uh, people like it a lot. Wow. So these are the two brothers <laughs> of... Uh, of the wine. Yeah, of the wine. Always sparkling wine. because uh, we always say one of, one of the typical uh, sentences that we say uh, when they ask, but why uh, sparkling? Uh, because uh, since we have so pretty fatty dishes, uh, uh, we say, we always say that uh, this bubbles cleans. Sandro is giddy and happy to show what he is cooking for us. Fresh fettuccine and raviolis is stuffed with manzo. Eating prosciutto in Parma mm -hmm. is so different than eating prosciutto than anyone else. Sandro wants to get me drunk. Lo fanno lo stesso maggiore? No. <laughs> Ma maybe I like you. <laughs> that's that's an Italian. <laughs> Salute. Uh, your food is amazing. And um, as like I say, when you sit on the table and you can have a meal like that, it's like you're sitting with your family. Gotta say ciao to Sandro and Andrea. And after a meal like that, a walking tour is the perfect combination. Time to meet Sarah. Nice to meet you. Ciao. Nice to meet you. Ciao. 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 Grazie, grazie mille. Benvenuta, mi sento. Benvenuta. 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 Grazie a te. Grazie, grazie, grazie. I wanted to go the, to Parma beyond just the food. I wanted to go to Parma with the culture, with the heart, with the soul. Yeah. I want to connect the traveler's yes. heart to the Italian soul. Yeah. Exactly. And this house, the basement of this house, it goes back to the Middle Ages. So it is one of the oldest buildings of Parma and you are in the heart of this. Oh, I love that. Oh. And you! And you. <laughs> Parma's history and culture are abundant as we walk into Cathedrale di Santa Maria Assunta, a Roman Catholic cathedral dedicated to the Assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary. To understand the meaning of architecture and history and make the most of our tour, a knowledgeable guy is fundamental.
is the kind of city I love visiting. It's such a beautiful town, but it's still very unknown by many. It's small enough to see the main sights on foot, but large enough to have lots of options and great food and wine. And talking about food and wine, we had the chance to speak with Nicola, the owner of Salomeria Garibaldi. Discover his shop and his world. It was a very enjoyable day. The evening was perfect to walk back and I had a lot to go over and digest. Thank you so much. Grazie mille. It was Prego. a pleasure. <laughs> Molto piacere. I don't know how to thank you enough because we, I had an amazing day full of history. <laughs> thank you for being in Parma. Thank you. Grazie mille. I go that way. I go that bye. Way. Ciao, bye. Ciao, ciao. ciao. Sarah was incredible. The timing was perfect to enjoy the buildings getting hit by the evening sun. Early morning ride to the Parma Alpaninis to visit a luxury less known called Rocca di Castrignano. Hi Elena. Hello. Uh, come stai, cara? Bene, bene voi? Bene. Grazie. Hello. Grazie for having us in this beautiful place. It's welcome for me to welcome you in the Rocca di Valle di Castrignano. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Yeah. You? Yes. In the past, uh, this was uh, a place uh, where um, some uh, the agriculture. In the past, I mean, one century ago, um, the agriculture had a house because a uh, lot of people work on fields and they need a place next to their workplace. And so, a lot of family uh, stay here. About uh, uh, 40, 50 people just in those two buildings. Wow. Yes, it was huge. It was huge. Rocca is a medieval fortified compound. The remarkable and pleasant landscape surrounds the complex is a preserved area and since 2015 is an UNESCO MAB reserved. The, the walls, the atmospheres, mm -hmm. the material that we see, we have just the, the original wood, the original stone. He studied the, the way to fix, uh, I don't know how to say in English, but to fix this part of the wall yeah. without the concrete, but using natural resources. This agrotourism provides accommodations in one of the historical buildings of the compound. A one-of-a-kind property in a region that has many delicacies. And Elena is going to show us where is the best farm at the Societa Agricola Saliceto, where the epitome of elegance and good taste is made. The king of cheese, Parmigiano Reggiano PDO. So let's start with the um, with the 
one yeah. years old, one he has the 12 old. months. You see, he's still is uh, uh, whiter than the others. Mm -hmm. And uh, mm -hmm. what did you make for the yeah, 24 hours yes. yesterday? Yes. Yeah. 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 One of Italy's most celebrated food and the protagonist of our next stop, so impressive that it's impossible to forget, one can lose themselves in the scent and taste of prosciutto di parma. We have the prosciutto, the shoulder, the spalla, the coppa, the neck, a lot of pancetta. So you see it are in a horizontal position with a lot of salt on the top. Yeah. The salt is absorbed, but with the same for the cheese, absorbing the salt, they are losing a lot of water, mm -hmm. unnecessary water, also blood. I love it, eh? the scent. Yes, it's intense. <laughs> Yeah, I love it. Yeah, I mean, I'm great that uh, you uh, you enjoy. Mm -hmm. Oh, very much so. Perfect. Grazie, signora. Grazie, grazie a voi. It's bellissimo a sua pro produzione. Grazie mille, grazie a voi di essere venuti nel nostro stabilimento. È sempre un onore. <laughs> Onore è mio, grazie gra a te. Grazie tanto. <laughs> Ciao. Ciao. Quality, authenticity and service are very important to me. And that's why I vetted everything before referring to a client. So let's go visit a authentic farm-to-table Bode di Cristina in the highlands of Parma. In the countryside of Parma, today we are visiting a, uh, a small farm. Uh, they own a restaurant, a uh, agro-tourism, and the difference is because everything is grown organically, but it's grown only for their own use here on their re restaurants. A legit farm-to-table, Poderi Cristina is a heaven for food lovers. There is no strip malls or chain restaurants. Their cuisine seeks to favor the perfect combination between the raw materials they produce, those that nature gives us, and the culinary traditions of their place. So, grazie mille, arrivederci. Ciao, a presto, vi aspettiamo ancora. Grazie, and uh, that was amazing. You are an excellent chef. Perfect. Yeah, I enjoyed it. Very much. <laughs> okay, ciao. Bye, bye, ciao, bye. ciao, ciao. Here where we say our goodbyes. Yes. Uh, Until next time we see each exactly. other again. Exactly. It's not I, forever, but just for a short time. A short time, <laughs> I hope so. And yes. I hope the next time we can bring a bunch of people. Not too many. Not too many. Just a few people the to see the beautiful region yes, that yeah. we have here. The one who can enjoy our nature and our pla uh, pleasant hills. And Absolutely. Have relaxed. Absolutely. <laughs> Grazie mille. Thank you. Can I hug you even though we can? <laughs> Thank you. Return grazie, whenever grazie. you want. Thank you so much. Cheese, meat, beautiful countryside. All what's missing is the wine. And that's our next stop. In Italy, is they call it Cortile. Cortile is the area um, in front of, the, of the, the castle. So this is Cortile del Castello is the name of the company. This building uh, is a, is a history of the time of the, of the people working here in the past for many, many centuries. And the, our idea is to, to make um, a, new, uh, a new area, a new refresh of this company that have inside the history. What we, we can buy is the history. So the, you, you can feel the history in this, uh, in yeah. this building. We don't have modified in any way because you can feel uh, the, the, the time is stopped. Wow. Yes. And I so, love this. I'm digging it. This is this is taking a trip back into history. It can get any better than this. 
So we're gonna be doing some wine tasting, I heard yes. about. So um, four wines, four types of wines, that's what we do. Four types of wine, exactly. Yeah. And the first one we decided the Pinot Blanc. Pinot Blanc. Named Casatico. Casatico is the area, okay. this yeah. little area. Okay. So um, is a Metodo Classico, so Champenoise method. Okay. And we decided to give you this uh, as aperitivo because uh, could be a good beginning. Okay, I'm ready. <laughs> you know, with the Champenoise method, you have uh, the bubbles uh, very thin and yeah. uh, very refined perlage. It always looks like a champagne when you pour it. You see the color also? Yes. With the maturation, with the skin, you have more intense uh, nuances of color. Grazie. For you. Salute. Cheers! Salute! A noi e a tutti. Salute! Yeah, I would like to show you the, the oldest part of the winery because we said that the building is dated back 1500. But this one, which is today is the cellar of the winery, was probably the watchtower of the castle, of the Torre Chiara castle that we saw from the, the terrace. So, I would like to show you because uh, you see the bricks uh, and also the, the building, you know, the structure of the architectural part, uh, it's uh, super old. Wow. Super. Oh! Grazie. <laughs> wow. And here they have uh, the Metodo Classico, so the Pinot Blanc with the Champenoise method that we just tried stays uh, here for about uh, one year and a half on the lees of the yeast mm -hmm. to mature and to take all the flavors that we tried in the glass. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you see the walls. Probably this part is the oldest part of the, of this kind of a, as I said, kind of a watchtower of the castle. So you see, the, it makes sense that that was a watchtower because it's more elevated compared to the castle and the view is really wide. So okay. it was possible probably to control and to check the, the land much better than from the castle. Thank you so much for having us here. You definitely uh, have a beautiful place. I saw all the work you were putting into it and this view is priceless. Thank so. you for your coming. It's a pleasure for me and for us from the winery to be present your, your visit and your, your time. And so we are glad to receive you to stay here. And if you want to come back every time, everywhere, <laughs> we are very glad to receive you and your uh, friends, your guests. I will come back with some more friends and some more guests. Okay, thank you very Grazie. much. Thank you. <laughs> ciao. Grazie. Ciao. Ciao. What a beautiful way to end our day. Sipping wine and watching the sun set over a castle at the oldest winery in the highlands of Parma. But our gastronomical tour is not done yet. And next, we'll be visiting the Aceitaria Venturini Baldini and learn on the production of balsamic vinaigrette. Buongiorno! Buongiorno! How are you? Good, how are you? Very good, thanks. Molto piacere. Nice to meet you, Morena. Uh, Morena, grazie for having us here in this beautiful property. Oh my God, it's stunning. It's a we pleasure. Can, uh, grazie. We can wait to see your uh, whole production. Thanks so much. I'm very curious and curious to do the balsamic taste. Exactly. You so, will do everything. Awesome! Yeah, <laughs> grazie. Welcome. I wish they would invented a camera that we could transcend exactly. the scent. Because this, it's just unbelievable. The scent of the aceto balsamic, it's sweet and aromatic. Acetaria di Canossa is one of the biggest and oldest, dating back to 1650 with 400 barrels. Impressive! The barrels are made from different material like oak, cherry, chestnut, juniper and pine. A tradition 
it's for a family to buy its own barrel for a newborn and give it on their wedding day. Morena and I continue on our tour. And here is the cantina. Yeah, you can smell it. I can. <laughs> a great place to, to be at and work, you know, and you can just go from attic to uh, to underground and, and have different beautiful smells exactly. all day exactly. long. Exactly. So where are, where are we going now? We have a secret room. Ooh. We will show you now. <laughs> I love secret rooms. And here is our secret room. Ooh. Our couple. Couple. Yeah. Here Bala sleeps and relax. When they are ready to be open, we just move them. My favorite part of the tour is tasting. Yeah, you can see the color and the bubble of our typical local Lambrusco, Rubino del Cerro. After seeing the whole process, I have a greater appreciation for the precious nectar as I sample the 12 years aged. You see the drop. Yeah, this is precious gold. So the first one was 12 years old, and this one is 20 years old. Let's see the difference. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. I could eat a whole spoon of that. This is so amazing. Yeah. Wow. And now we are with a 25-year-old balsamic vinaigrette. So, let me see. <laughs> so delicious. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Amazing. Wow. Wow. <laughs> balsamic means medicine. So, it's good for your troll and it's good for your guts. Cheers. This doesn't suck. Okay, Morena, grazie. Grazie. Molto piacere. piacere. A presto. Grazie See mille. you next time. See you next time. Buon proseguimento. Anche a tu. Anche a te. Anche a te. <laughs> <laughs> Ciao, grazie. Ciao, grazie. Next time when I come, my Italian will be better. Yeah, and also my English. <laughs> I like it. Ciao. Grazie, grazie, ciao. Arrivederci. Arrivederci. What a great tour and Morena was so knowledgeable. An amazing job. After four days traveling through Parma, today we ending our, our stay in a high note. We are here at the lowlands of Parma. A antica cantina palavicella where the land of the cutello de zibello lives culatello translates to little ass so i guess i am here in search of a little ass aging here in the cellar and uh, in this first room we have the Curatelli which has been already booked by the name you see in the different board. 40, 45 months. And over there we have the only window press in the cellar which is oriented to north, the Po River. Just open or close the menu with the window you can control the temperature in the cellar. That's it, we don't have any other system.
24 mesi di stagionatura, sfuratello di zibello 36 mesi di stagionatura, strolghino di curatello, salame anticospigato. Grazie. <laughs> If you are the style of travel that loves to take yourself off the beaten path, Parma or the Emilia Romana region is the perfect destination for you. Their food is amazing, their wine is delicious, and this part of Italy carries so much history and culture, and you can really enjoy and relax yourself on the countryside, but it's still with a little bit touch of chic. Wow, that was an authentic gastronomical tour through the high and low lands of Parma. No wonder why they are called the Food Valley by UNESCO and hold 44 certified products by EU. I hope you enjoy our tour of the Emilia Romana. I'm Silvana Frappier with North Star Destinations and I am here to give you some guidance, inspiration and hope. And that's what I want to share with all of you. Salute!